Hello and welcome. We're going to test the Chanson Miracle water ionizer today. It's the smallest, most compact countertop ionizer in the world. We're going to do two tests. We're going to do a test at normal flow rate. We're going to test for the pH, the acid, and the ORP. And then we're also going to dial the flow down as slow as we can get it to see what the maximum numbers we can get out of this machine. Let's go on ahead and do this. I'll rinse out our alkaline sample. And I'm going to take some acid water right from the drain spout here. And let's see what we got. How about we test our acid water first? Looks like we've got a 2.7 at normal flow rate. Not bad, not bad. It's just about medicinally sterilizing on contact there, and with no salt or chemical solutions, by the way. Let's see what our pH water is. Give it a second to reach its numbers. You know, whenever you use these meters to go back and forth between alkaline and acidity, they don't really like that and they take a little while to get to their numbers. I'd say the pace we're going at, we're going to end up at about 11.3. But I'll accept this for the test. We got 11.2. Okay? And let's see where our ORP is at. So it looks like we've got a negative 480, 500. It's going up pretty fast. Negative 520, negative 530. Let's just call it a negative 530. All right, and by the way, this is not one of those cheap $100 meters that you see everybody using in the test. This is a lab quality meter that's completely calibrated. Those were some accurate numbers you were just looking at. Now, let's do our second test. Let's dump these samples out. And I'm going to dial the water flow down as slow as we can get it. And by the way, when you see these maximum numbers advertised um, on the internet and, and review sites, when they're, when they're showing the maximum numbers, it's with the water flow dialed down as low as they can go and still, you know, with the machine continuing to run. So we'll turn it on to our strong alkaline setting. And I'm going to dial this pressure down as low as I can get it. And there we go. I'll take my alkaline sample cup and rinse it out a little bit. And there's enough there. And I'll get some acid water here. And I think we've got enough there. So I'll shut this down. And let's see what our ORP is since that's where we left off last time. Let's see what kind of ORP we've got here. Whoa! That puppy's cruising. Look at that. Not bad for a day's work. Wow, the smallest countertop in the world gets a negative 855. It's pretty impressive. Looks like we're going to hit negative 857, 58. Oh, darn it, I was hoping we'd hit that magic 60 mark. Oh, that might do it. 59. All right, there we are, negative 860. Excellent. Now I'll take a look at the pH. Well, 
I gotta say, if this, let's make sure we're rinsing the old sample off. Well, who could complain about that? A 12.16 pH. And folks, if you think I'm doing anything to skew these test results, I can guarantee I'm one of the most honest guys you're going to see in this business. These are gods to honest test results with quality calibrated meters. I got a 12.1 pH with no salt or no solution added whatsoever. I'll even give you the low number. All right, so now we're down to a 12.05. So we'll call it a 12.05. Now some people might complain that I'm not rinsing the probe off in between, but anybody that does a lot of testing knows that a little bit of alkaline water, and I put it in the acid water and stir it, I'm going to get pretty darn close to what the actual reading is. I'm not a lab, I don't claim to be a lab. Um, your test results might be completely different than mine. Everybody's source water gives different results. We're in Laguna Niguel, California. Our tap water is an 8.2 to an 8.5 on the pH scale. So we're starting out with alkaline water. Um, and as a matter of fact, I wouldn't expect too many areas around the United States to get these same results. But um, if you have soft water, we have mineral solutions that can be added to the water to help you get stronger results out of your water. But um, basically on the acid, we've got a 2.7170. Two point six nine. We'll call it a two point six eight. Medicinally sterilizing acid water with no salt, no chemicals, and no solution. We're down at a two point six five. Six four. I'd be willing to bet if I leave this thing sit for a while, we're going to get down to the two point five. Two point six two. We'll call it there. Again, these tests. We do these tests. So you can see how the maximum performance of the machine is. In the real world, does it matter that there's an 860 orb? What will you really do with that? You might have a glass of it here and there, but that's not what you're going to drink on a daily basis. Um, it's more bragging rights, if you will, um, just to show that the machine can perform with any other machine on the market at its size. It's the smallest product on the market and the, one of the most powerful punches. But just remember, you might not get the same test results as I got here, if you have soft water, talk to your dealer about getting a mineral re, uh, remineralization canister added to your system, and that'll put minerals back into the water and allow you to get stronger results from your machine. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact your dealer or call us, and thanks for watching.